Isn't it wonderful to know that our Father does not quit on us? That no matter where we go, He is there for us. I have several scriptures to share to you. Romans 8, 15, it says, The Spirit you received does not make you slaves. I'll say that again. The Spirit you received, which is the Holy Spirit, does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the Spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship. And by Him, we cry, Abba, Father. So we cannot even cry, Abba, Father, unless we are filled with the Holy Spirit. But I want you to know, beloved, that you're not here because of your rating. You know, when you're given a task and you think you deserve it because you did well? No. Because the Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And He reconciled us back to the Father. Here's another scripture that will really encourage you. Matthew 18, verse 12. What do you think? If a man owns a hundred sheep, and one of them wanders away, will he not leave the 99 on the hills and go to look for the one that wandered off? So how much more our great, great father, he will not leave anyone behind. It is God's will that all men be saved. And as you would taste that kind of love from the heavenly father, you would not give up. On anyone you know that when we carry someone it's called intercession when we stand in behalf of someone who's far from God it's called inter we're trying to bridge the gap through our prayers that's the heart of the father he does not send anyone to hell we get to choose that and I just want you to know sometimes when we're Christians we forget that we're here because of love, not because of tasks. And what I've noticed with the Father is He nurtures us, He nourishes us before He gives us responsibilities for the kingdom. So you're not there, you know, like your teeth are chittering and clattering and say, wow, my Father is raiding me. No, He's there to assist, love, nourish, to discipline to, to teach us the ways of the kingdom. I want to encourage you, the reason you're still here is because you are loved by God and He wants you to be His partner in making a difference, salt and light, but it's not punitive. Maybe you've never experienced the love of a father. Maybe you've never even met your father, but the Father in heaven has been here all along. And what Jesus did is he reconciled us back to Abba. So that when we are in trouble, when we need a hug, when we need a good word, he'll walk with us and teach us his ways. And I know it's hard sometimes to separate that from our experiences with our earthly father. Maybe they've been too harsh. Maybe they've punished you without giving you understanding. But when you enter the presence of God, the kingdom of God. Fathering is the first thing you will experience. You will be fathered, you will be loved, you will be nourished, you will be, you will be given the opportunity to grow. That's why we have cell groups, that's why we attend uh, services, so that we will learn how to be fathered by the perfect father. And so there's one scripture that says in Hebrews 4, 3, Now we who have believed enter that rest, just as God has said. So I declared on oath in my anger, they shall never enter my rest. And yet his works have been finished since the creation of the world. I just want to remind all of us, including me as a minister, sometimes I forget that it's finished. That the, Jesus already did it on the cross and that when we believe and stand with him, we can enter the rest of his presence. Where after we have contended, last week I told you let's contend. 
after we've contended, when you find that peace, you rest in the Father's love. And I'm telling you, without the Father's love, without the outpouring of His love, don't even go to spiritual warfare. You will get so tapoy. You will get so tired. But when it's motivated by the love of God, from spiritual warfare to intercession to doing ministry and everything else, that has to be the core foundation why you are here. It's because you and I, you are a child of God. Never forget that. You're fighting from the position of victory. You're not trying to win His love. You're not trying to prove anything anymore. You are just a child of God. And when you're a child of God, I say just, but when you're a child of God, everything Jesus has is yours. So there is a place of rest. And we have to enter that and believe that our Father is good and He will cause us to fulfill our destiny. The Father loves us and I love you with the love of the Lord. Stay revived. Bless the Lord.